Our top story at the Sour High Court in Durban has sentenced brothers Dylan and Ned Govender to seven years imprisonment for attempted murder, common assault and assault with intent to do grievous bodily harm. This relates to incidences in uh, Phoenix, north of Durban. During the 2021 civil unrest, the brothers were acquitted on a charge of the murder of 19-year-old Mlondi Majola. Our handing down sentencing, Judge Gregory Kruger said that the two did not show any remorse. Um, SABC News reporter Vusi Kumalo, in fact, was in court early on. I'm here inside the, just before the Durban High Court with a number of people this time around who were attentively uh, listening uh, to the sentencing of the two governor brothers who have been sentenced uh, for their roles that they played during the civil unrest uh, that took place in KwaZulu-Natal. As you may recall, that uh, there was a lot of chaos, especially in Phoenix uh, in July, where more than 35 uh, people uh, died there with Phoenix. Uh, a lot of people saying that uh, they died as a result of the racially motivated uh, killings there in that place. Uh, just to get the reaction uh, from of the people who are here, including the NPA in Gua Zulu Natal, Natasha Ramkisun Kara, who is the spokesperson for Nat NPA in the province of Gua Zulu Natal. Just to get your reaction, are you happy with how things unfolded out here today? The NBA is very pleased with the outcome of the matter. The accused were sentenced to an effective seven years imprisonment. And further, the, uh, they were found unfit to possess firearms and their application for leave to appeal against the conviction was dismissed. So we are pleased. We hope that the sentence will also be a message to people of like-minded you know, behaviors, that the NPA and the courts in general will not tolerate behavior of such unlawfulness. Okay, with the number of people are still not satisfied with how Monty Manchola's murder uh, was not um, involved this time around, uh, there was no charge on them. Uh, there are a lot of people are saying that uh, they're not satisfied with how things are unfolded with, with the, in the judgment with no charge against or on the murder of Monty. I think that that matter will have to be then directed to the judiciary. Yes, indeed, the, uh, they, were, they were not charged with the murder of Monday. They were actually charged with assault GBH. And if one studies the judgment of the matter, one will hear that the judge found that there are other individuals that should be charged for Monday's murder. And also the judge also criticizing the manner in which police um, dealt with this matter, the poor handling of this matter. What's your reaction to that? I have no comment on that matter. Thanks a lot for itself. Thank you. Uh, Natasha Ramkisun Kara saying she doesn't have a comment or regarding uh, the acquittal of, of, of murder charges on Monty uh, Machola. I'm going to see if I can talk to uh, Monge Zitwala, uh, who is leading the EFF in the province of KwaZulu Natal. He has been inside court and also attending this matter. We've also seen uh, EFF supporters, the pockets of EFF supporters here and there during the trial and also during from the bail hearing in the Verilem uh, Magistrate Court. But now here in the High Court, we are also seeing the leader of the EFF Mongezi uh, Twala. Just to get your reaction, sir, regarding this matter, seven years imprisonment, are you happy or are you not satisfied with how things have unfolded? Uh, first and foremost, we want to uh, state it categorically clear that we are really not happy uh, because uh, the atrocities and the uh, uh, gruesome murders uh, leveled against our people in Phoenix. Really, we have 36 people who, who lost their lives in, the, in that Phoenix. And uh, there, there was a certain vigilante group of uh, racist Indians who butchered uh, our people. So also to have two people uh, accused on two, two, two people sentenced today, really we are not, we are not happy because uh, uh, 36 people lost their lives. And it is clear that those people, they, are, they were not even uh, remorseful of the crimes that they, commit, uh, they committed, in particular against the black child uh, in the area of uh, Phoenix. We are still wondering why they were acquitted of murder, uh, why they were acquitted of uh, grievous bodily harm uh, charges. And then uh, the question should be who killed, who then killed uh, our people uh, in the area of, of uh, Phoenix. So for them to, to, to get these uh, jail terms, it, has, it is uh, clearly because they are acquitted of murder and they are acquitted of uh, GPH. They uh, were really not happy with the jail term, uh, but uh, it's, it's good that uh, 
uh, the law played uh, its role and uh, played uh, its part. But we were still uh, wondering that then what happened to, to all these uh, other churches because people were killed there uh, in Phoenix. Then who killed our people? The, it means it's the ghost that came and killed our, our people. But we know that there was a certain vigilante uh, Indian group that was uh, uh, which mobilized itself. What happened to the bi ballistic re uh, reports? What happened to those guns that were confiscated of a certain private security company? Guns which were used uh, against our people. What happened to our people who were uh, banned beyond recognition in that uh, uh, Phoenix? It is clear that justice in this uh, 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 South Africa it has got eyes. Just because it's people, uh, it's black people, it's only two people who are made to face a jail term. It's, and it's only just a seven years a jail term which is going to go con concurrently, meaning that these people are going to serve not more than three years uh, in prison. We are really not happy and we are still going to pursue this matter further uh, to get to the bottom of it. Those who murdered our people should suffer the consequences. It cannot be that the life of a black child we are mad at, we are killed on daily basis, and in particular in Phoenix, the people were uh, hands, they were chopped off, uh, those who, who, who survived, and uh, people are made to, to, to serve uh, seven years uh, in jail. We are really not happy as the EFF in Guazulu.